Yo, what's going on everybody? TOG here. I'm back again with another video on how to show you how to fix FPS drops in Fortnite because it is really annoying and I know how it basically feels. Now, my PC is pretty strong. It's a RTX 3060 with an i7 CPU. But if you don't have a strong PC, do not worry. These settings shouldn't be any problem. First off, before we get into the window settings, we're going to go straight up to Fortnite settings. And so we can basically see if this is not your problem because this is basically what was my problem. It wasn't my PC. It was Fortnite settings. So full screen mode, always the best. Uh, just put this to your resolution on your monitor, 1080p for mine. Frame rate, rate limit, that should also be your monitor's uh, FPS, basically hurts. Uh, mine is 144. Rendering mode, really important. Make it direct X11, okay? You can put it on performance mode, but then your game will literally look so ugly and then all the console players will basically see say to you wow you're a pc player so your graphics suck you know so you don't want that like you get a little bit of extra fps but trust me guys you do not want direct 12 okay if you have this enabled you're gonna get stutters and i don't know somehow you get like 60 fps if you have this enabled and if you put it on direct x11 you get like 40 50 fps more and you don't get stutters. so make sure that is what fixed it for me this is on direct x11 okay scroll down quality presets not auto set because Fortnite will tell you you have strong pc and then you get 60 fps quality presets custom okay this um i have a rtx graphics card so it also obviously have a uh, dlss this really if you don't have it doesn't matter just put it on like uh this one over here fxaa this one is really good make sure this is 100 percent you can play around with this maybe make it 90 percent 100 it doesn't really matter but 100 percent is almost always the best then uh shadows is gonna be medium basically global elimination ambient screen space over here view distance medium you're not really gonna need far or epic view distance because fortnite like competitive is mostly close up not far away then textures is high because if it's on medium or low you might get a default bug and then you see default skins and people wearing real skins and creative effects is gonna be medium post -process processing is gonna be medium as well uh this stuff doesn't really matter but make sure it's on plus boost if you have nvidia graphics card so that's basically the settings that basically will keep the game looking good basically uh and also give you basic the best fps because you don't want like good fps but then the game is basically like really ugly um but yeah that's basically what fixes it for me because you will get a lot of fps but let's quickly get to the window settings okay we're quickly going to close Fortnite over here. Then you will see this is your uh, Windows homepage. Uh, this is Windows 11, but the settings basically should be the same for everybody. So first off, you're going to go to search. Uh, you're going to go search game mode over here. Um, I think it will just pop up over here. Game mode settings. Turn on game mode. Okay, so this should be on because uh, this basically lets Windows optimize your PC for game mode. Graphics, uh, click on that. Then you're going to go... Um, to browse uh, guys I'm just gonna tell you guys where the default Fortnite is usually installed just gonna go to your main drive over here program files epic games uh, uh, Fortnite then you're gonna go to Fortnite game binaries and Windows 64 then you're gonna click on this one over here basically and you're gonna say add then you will see it will appear over here options then you're gonna put it on high performance save basically that's it guys that's how easy it is uh so if you have foreign over here this will essentially tell windows it's a high performance application and it needs to prioritize this over others so yeah let me quickly get into the other setting okay so this one is a little bit more tricky because i did kind of hide it right here but it's gonna be the game bar so you're gonna search system components component settings right so just search it over here in the search bar this will appear you're gonna open this up you're gonna go to game bar click uh these three dots advanced options then you're gonna scroll down background component permissions make sure this is on never basically and it will not run in the background because that takes a lot of out of your performance guys then you're gonna go to uh task manager quickly gonna open up task manager over here and uh this will basically tell us everything that's running on the pc and the background so i do have a lot of stuff open so do not worry about that but you're gonna go to startup apps over here 
then you guys can see basically what is enabled on your startups this is all mine uh so yeah make sure to just disable a lot of launchers and uh chrome especially and of course i have an antivirus running you do not really need that because windows antivirus is good enough so if it kind of has like a high impact you probably should disable it but i'm just gonna keep mine on because rather safe than sorry and then um yeah that's basically it for that make sure to go to processes and make sure usually it's like the cpu that is the problem with these types of things or the ram so make sure to uh click on the ram of your memory and see what is taking up all the ram and uh make sure to go to cpu as well sometimes when you have stutters this will kind of go up to a hundred percent and then go back down to like 70 percent but that kind of that spike is enough to give you like stutters in the game so basically just make sure you have a lot of these stuff disabled just make sure to not disable main uh, uh main application applications be uh, because that will kind of just disable windows but there is a lot of stuff over here that you don't need like uh what is this uh this is kind of my vr i can probably disable that epic games launcher disable that there's a lot of stuff guys so and especially chrome chrome really takes a lot of cpu power guys believe me when i say this um but yeah that's basically all the settings in windows you can look at um of course your pc make sure it has like a lot of space because that could also be the problem if you have a hard drive or a ssd make sure to have at least like for ssds make sure to have about 30 gigabytes of space open that kind of fixes it for me but for hard drives make sure to have like at least 200 gigabytes open guys because they just are really slow but that's basically the settings for fortnite to get better fps and to fix stuttering because believe me when i say this i've had this to go through stuttering and lagging a lot guys so this should fix it for you of course if your pc is uh, not powerful at all you can always put this on performance performance mode over here and then just turn everything down over here bro just make sure it's on low settings you just essentially go over here to custom and make this low and it will kind of just optimize low settings but be warned though that the game is not gonna look too good make sure that's 100 percent that's gonna look ugly if it's not but yeah the game is not gonna look too good but of course it's not gonna be unplayable so hopefully this got this helped you guys out make sure to subscribe to the channel for more tutorials i will make a tutorial on fall guys in the future of the best settings to use in there thank you guys so much for watching see you guys in the next one peace out